I rescued Pixies, Napco, Wedgwood, Viking Glass, Fenton Glass, Pyrex, and so much more. Stay tuned for the haul video. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, this is a haul from the previous picking video you seen yesterday where I went to the Goodwill bins and I only spent $25. In the video, I said that I spent $22. Well, then I checked out and I was bringing my cart back in and they were bringing out new bins. And so, of course, I had to check out the new bins before I left. And I ended up spending $3. I found a few more things. And so, I... Um, yeah, my total spend for the day was $25. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. I'm super excited. I rescued Viking today. I rescued um, Napco. I rescued Wedgwood. I rescued Pixies. I am so excited to show you everything that I got. So let's get into the haul as I got some fun things. So the first thing right here, since this box of goodies is right here, I'm going to show you the box of goodies first, is the Wedgwood. I can't believe it. I believe this is like Jasper Ware because it is, um, that's, they just stuck that in there to keep it from breaking. That was nice. Um, because it is the green color, so I think it's Jasper Ware, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It is so pretty. All the scenery. There's absolutely no chips or cracks on it whatsoever. And on the bottom, it does say made in England. Made in England. Right there. So that was an awesome, awesome rescue out of the bins. I cannot believe that it was just sitting there. It was in the new bins, but it was sitting on top like somebody had found it and then they just left it there. And it's a beautiful piece. So I was happy to rescue that. And then another beautiful piece that I was super happy to rescue. I A lot of this, these breakables I didn't get on video because it, they brought the new bins out and it was all glass on one side and boxes. And I had to like reach and dig and hurry up before anybody else got over there, which another reseller did get over there. Um, and he had grabbed a whole box of goodies. So I don't know what was all in there, but he did um, give me a set of salt and pepper shakers because I gave him a pair or a couple Tupperware containers. And I, I know everyone says that you should always pick up the Tupperware containers, which I love picking up vintage Tupperware. If it, like the canister sets, I, I only like picking them up if they're in sets. And I say that because I have an orange set right now and it's an awesome, awesome set that it's been listed. It's a set of four canisters, but only um, the two small ones have lids. The two bigger ones do not have lids. And I've had it listed for two years now and so I I that's why I like picking them all the ones that I've had with lids sold this set didn't it's missing two lids and it's been listed forever so it's probably lost in the algorithm somewhere but this is Napco it is Napco it has its original sticker she is so beautiful you guys other than a couple small, tiny, tiny flea bites in the paint glaze, like right there. And then in the front, there's a couple tiny ones. Other than that, she is in perfect condition. She's holding her umbrella. She Nothing is broken. No repairs. Look at her hand. I rescued her from the bins. She's a vintage planter. 
she is so beautiful i absolutely love her you guys i was so happy look at her eyelashes look at her beautiful fair face she's just a fair lady i love it so i was happy to get that and then here are the kitty salt and pepper shakers that i traded the guy for unfortunately i he, well, I wasn't even expecting a trade first off. I just gave him, I, I like to rescue things. And then if I don't want to pay for them, I like to pass them on to other resellers so they don't end up in the dump. Um, and so that's what I did. That was my, I w it wasn't my intent to trade. Well, then he said, did you want those kitties that you thought were really cute? And I said, sure. And so they are salt and pepper shakers, but unfortunately this one has been repaired. You can kind of see it right there. His neck has been repaired. But he is so stinking cute and adorable. Well, they both are. And this one has a tiny little, I think that's a repair maybe, on its foot. But they're cute just as figurines cute little kitty long neck kitties and they are marked japan and they both have their stoppers so i got those and i did rescue a viking glass oh i did rescue fit and glass too guys um that unfortunately i was only able to find one of these candlestick holders there was only one in the bin that I was looking in. I don't know if somebody else grabbed it. And I don't have my black light. But if I did have my black light. This would glow. Around the edge. It would glow. And it's got it's original Viking glass sticker. And it's beautiful beautiful red. Viking glass. So I rescued that. And I rescued this Fenton bear. He does have its birthstone. It's a little birthstone heart. He's really dusty. He needs cleaned up a little bit, but he is a Fenton bear. I don't know if he is marked anywhere, but I've had several of these in the past and they're called birthstone bears with the little hearts right there. So stinking cute. So I rescued that. And then I got these salt and pepper shakers. These are so much fun. Look at these people. Oh, aren't they so cute and adorable? I absolutely love them. I think they're so much fun. There's, they have their stoppers. They say fourteen forty-five. They must have been in a booth or something. Maybe I don't know. They, I love their faces. So 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 stinking cute and adorable. And then I found these puppies. Unfortunately, they do not have their mom. The, he, the mom probably was in the other guy's box because he had a lot of tchotchkes like this. They are Japan Redware. They do have a chain connecting them, but their mom is missing. So it's just the pair of puppies. The black poodles. They're so cute. So I rescued those out of the bins. I rescued this stone fish out of the bins. It's awesome, no broken spots at all. And it is screwed on the bottom right there. And it's this awesome stone fish. But that was a neat piece. I got this little vintage toothpick holder. He is so stinking cute and adorable. That little doggy, he is from Japan as well. So cute, isn't he? Look at his little face and his little eyes. Adorable. And then these next things, the rest of the stuff in this box that I'm getting ready to show you is what I got for $3 when I went back in. I got, I found this, um, 
beautiful butterfly glass box and it's got like that a uh, assemblage type thing in there it's awesome you can open it up it is a beautiful glass box so i got that i found this is neat it is um a souvenir from australia genuine kangaroo fur made in australia it's still got his vintage tag and then it is a music box oh i think that's so neat some people might be like "Ooh, it's made out of real fur but it's a souvenir piece and it's just awesome i think and it's like a koala and it's so cute. And it's a music box, it's awesome. And then the last things that I found when I went back in, I still got more stuff to show you from the first part, but these are the things that I got for $3 when I went back in, is these decks of cards. You guys, this is a rare, rare set and it is awesome. I was only able to find one sold because I don't have a worth point account. So I just did a lot of research and I was only able to find one that sold on Etsy for $49.99. $49.99. What? Are you kidding me? Awesome. And these are called Casper's Goodies. This is Warren and it's Harvey Cartoons. And wait till you see these cards, you guys. This card game is so much fun. Remember, it's called Casper's Goodies. And these are so stinking cute. They're anthropomorphic cards, you guys. Oh. I absolutely love, love, love them. These were an awesome, awesome find. So much fun. I need to sit out and lay these all out and make sure the game is complete. Oh, aren't they so awesome? Um... It was, when I found these cards, they were in a whole box of cards, like decks of cards. Now, I just picked out these three, although, so stinking cute, right? Um, they did have sets. They were all opened, you know, but they looked complete to me. Um, but they were like flow, vintage flowered ones, and then one was like, which I probably should have got them all. Um, but one was like, oh, the Zodiac. And I don't know. There was just all kinds. And I only picked out these three. I probably should have got them all. But I had already spent $22 and I was already checked out. I didn't have a cart. You know, I just went back in without a cart because it was so busy in there. And I already gave my cart away when I went back in. So this was an awesome find, though. Awesome, awesome. Like I said, I could only want, find one that had sold, and it sold for $49.99 on Etsy. And then this is the other one that I got. So awesome. Flashcards. I love that box. And these are very, very cute as well. Aren't they adorable? They're just... So, so cute. And there's a whole deck of those. So I got those. I was happy to pick up those. I like the vintage boxes. You could use these and set them in your vintage displays. I have an Old Maid one in my display. Because Old Maid is very nostalgic to me. And then the last set is this. The box isn't that fancy. It's tore right there. But the cards, 
I did not want to leave them behind. They're all the same, but they're so cute. And somebody could use these as package toppers if you wanted to. Look at that little baby. So cute. And they're, like I said, they're all the same, so... Uh, those were the three decks, and like I said, all that stuff for $3, not too bad. Especially if that Casper set is complete. That would be awesome. Okay, so then, moving on to the stuff in the trash can. I guess I did buy a trash can. <laughs> but I found a little brown church. It's a metal bank, and the comps on these were pretty decent. I will put comps up in the corner so you guys can see what it sells for, but it is a vintage metal. Little Brown Church is what it says right there. Little Brown Church. Bank. So much fun. Awesome. And I did find Pyrex. I picked this Pyrex up even though it does not have its lid. Um, because I have never seen that pattern before and it might be a unique one and I don't know and it doesn't weigh very much and I like the stripes, the brown stripes. I think that's a really nice piece. So like I said, it is Pyrex. Awesome. Pyrex in the bins. And like I said, um, I only spent... $25 on all this stuff that I'm showing you. So I think I did pretty well. I think I did quite well because I did find a pixie. Oh, look at him. He kind of looks evil. He kind of looks like an evil pixie with his eyes painted like that. He's not an old one. He is not an old one. I don't know if it says the date on there. I don't think it does. It does, he's got his tag, but it don't say the date on there. But he's cute and adorable. And I was not going to leave this pixie. I never leave any pixies behind. Never leave any pixies behind ever. And then I did find... Now, he was not vintage, but this one is. I did find a vintage pixie. He kind of looks like him a little mischievous as well. Look at his little pointy ears. So stinking cute and adorable. Absolutely love him. He is a knee hugger. And he was a good find. A good, good find in the bins. And then I found a picture that would be perfect for a gallery wall. Maybe mine. I have not yet decided. I do need to find some little pictures. So actually, I think probably that I will keep this um, because it is vintage dried flowers and I love the colors. And so this, and it's in a round oval frame. And I think this is going to stay with me. This is going to go on my gallery wall. I love flowers and I love the color and I love the frame and it's in really good shape. So that was a really fun find. I have been looking for a little, I've got a lot of bigger pictures and stuff uh, for my gallery wall. Now I need to find some little ones like that. And then these would also be good for someone's gallery wall. Um, not really my colors, so I think I'm going to sell these. But they are sets of butterflies. This one is a set of two. These are the metal butterflies, the vintage brass butterflies. And then this one's a set of three. So there's three butterflies and two. A lot of fun. I like picking up those vintage metal butterflies. And again, if there is anything that you guys are interested in that I find, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. So, it, like I said, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. And then I found these awesome, awesome vintage plastic um, salt and pepper shakers. I love the colors of these. These are in excellent condition. Um, I'm not for sure the maker. Again, I think they were out of booth. 
and somebody was trying to sell them for $27.88. Unless that was the booth number, but it looks like a price to me. But they're so awesome. I absolutely love them. This one's got a little bit of sticker residue I gotta get off, but look how good of condition these are in, you guys. Look at that green and the flower, the daisies. Oh, I love it. So awesome. And then I did find the vintage trash can. Awesome. It needs cleaned out a little bit, but it is in really, really good shape other than being a little bit dirty. It's got all of its four little nubby feet on there. And I love the vintage mustard yellow color with the white flower. It is in still in really, really, really nice shape. Like I said, just needs cleaned up a little bit. And it is Schwartz Bros Plastic Ink in Glendale, California. And I love the, the design. I love the shape of it. And I love everything about it. I love picking up these vintage trash cans when they're in good shape when I find them. Because a lot of people like to redecorate their house and um, go back to the 60s, 70s style. And that kind of stuff is perfect. And now on to the last sack. Yes, I still have more. I still have a few more things to show you. I did find going to grandma's. It is a vintage suitcase. I love it. it again, it needs cleaned up a little bit. It's got a little bit of dirt on there and stuff, but it's still in pretty nice shape. All that I think I can get cleaned up with a Mr. Clean Eraser. That's just dirt on there. And on the inside, it's in really good condition as well. If I can get it open here. There we go. It's in nice shape. It is a perfect, cute little suitcase. Going to Grandma's. So if you are a grandma, you want to buy this for your granddaughter so she can pack her clothes and come spend the night with you. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then I found this, and this is another thing that I will probably end up keeping so I can stick it on my gallery wall and stick little tchotchkes on it it's a vintage drawer but somebody made it you know it just to me it looks like a shelf so i like it as a wall shelf it's still got its vintage hardware it is old 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 absolutely love it though such a nice see how old it is on the back but it's so much fun and I like it. It would look good with my glass, little glass figurines or, you know, something kitschy on there. On my gallery wall. So I may end up keeping that. It wouldn't be a bins trip if I did not bring home a vintage purse. So I did find a vintage red purse. This one is in pretty nice condition. It does not have a label on the inside. but I really like it. I think it's a nice vintage piece and the clasp still works great and still closes nicely. And it's red. It's, it's awesome, awesome color, bright red. Fancy. And then I found a bunch. Now I'm not gonna show you every single one because um, it will take forever because I got a ton of them, but I will show you this guy really quickly first. Oh, he's a gnome. He is an ornament. So stinking cute and adorable. You know what? Look, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like little things like him would go good on my shelf. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I want things a little, maybe a little bit bigger things. Maybe he'll look good on the bottom since he's shorter. He's a gnome. I don't know. We'll see. 
We will see, but I picked him up. He was the only one of his kind that I found, but I found a bunch of these. These are so stinking cute. These are the handmade ornaments with the beads. Look at her cute little face. Now these are all beads. All those dots that you see are beads. There's a bunch of them in here. There's like Santas and snowmen and um, rocking horses and see all those, those are all beads. And there's just tons in here, tons and tons. So I got a bunch, like handfuls and handfuls of those. As you've seen in the bins, like, see, aren't they so cute? That's all beads and sequins. I just think they're adorable. One more. So, so cute, right? These are adorable. So I picked up tons of those. Then I picked up this awesome um, cast iron plate holder or picture holder, I guess. I would say it's more of a picture holder. It will hold like a really nice picture frame and hold picture frame. It's got a really, really nice design. Like I said, it is metal cast iron. There's the back and I will show you. That's what it would look like if it sit down. It is an awesome picture holder, metal picture holder. So cool. And then the very last thing that I got for $25 out of the Goodwill bins, in my $25 total, I guess, is this vintage pencil sharpener. It is a Boston. Um, I know that these vintage metal pencil sharpeners can do quite well. And so I looked this up when I was at the bins before I got it because it probably weighs about a pound, maybe since it is metal, maybe a little bit less. Um, but they do sell, so I was happy to take this home with me. Awesome, awesome find. So I think I did good on the vintage finds today, you guys. What do you guys think? Um, what was your favorite thing that I found in the Goodwill bins this time? I think mine was... Probably, I don't know. I got a lot. The Casper cards for sure. And the Pixie. And the Viking glass. And the Napco planter. And the kangaroo music box type thing. The Wedgwood. I don't know. It's hard to choose. I got a lot of fun, awesome things. So what was your guys' favorite thing that I found out of the bins? Comment below and tell me what your favorite thing was that I found at the Goodwill bins. And yeah, like I said, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junk to be loved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters. The link is in the description below as well. Um, I also list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links will be in the description below as well. And then a lot of the things that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. I do my live sales every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. Because that way, if you hit that bell button, you'll be notified when I go live for my live sales. You don't want to miss my live sales. They are a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. So tune in Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time for a fun vintage life sale. And don't forget to hit that bell button. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.